Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at predefined variables. And what these are, are variables that have been assigned to an interface because we've dropped a new instance of the function block or function uh, in, an, in an, another object. So to give you an example of this, if I were to drag a new PID manager onto this screen and give it a instance, we can see that this value has been predefined and pre-populated onto our interface. And it doesn't matter that it's not valid. Um, in some cases, we don't want it to be valid. For example, I'm using this to prompt me that I should be accessing a particular type of information. So what we're going to do with this particular function block here is we're going to modify it and change the behavior of the max and min variables here so that they're pre-populated with constant data when you drop a new instance of the function block into your project. So to do that, I need to open the PID manager. I need to click on the PV max. And if I come down to properties and uh, open the properties, I have a visibility in block calls, uh, sorry, visibility in block calls in lad and function block diagram. So that's ladder and function block diagram. And I have the visibility of either show, hide, or hide if no parameter is assigned. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to hide because I want to hide this variable if, um, if, it's, if it's not being modified. And there will always be a parameter assigned to this because I'm going to come down to our predefined actual parameter and fill it in with 100.0. And this means that we will always have 100.0 on PV max unless we otherwise change it. So with that in mind, whoops, if I then um, check the show if parameter assigned on block call is not identical to the predefined actual parameter, which is a, a bit of a mouthful, but essentially what this means is now if this value changes for whatever reason, we'll only show it then. If I come back to my main here, what we should find is if we drag a new PID manager in, give it a new instance, we can see that the PV max is missing. And if I expand the block here, we can see that it has 100 on it now. Now notice that this hasn't affected previous versions, even though I've updated the block call for that previous version. So the only way for that to work now is if I type 100.0 in there myself. And even then, you can see that it still hasn't hidden that. However, if I close the uh, main block and reopen it, you'll then find that tier portal updates and the, uh, the changes that we've made are now the same. At first, it looks like it hasn't worked, especially on blocks that, uh, that are pre-existing. But now if I minimize that one and minimize our new one, we can see that they both behave the same way. So if I now go and type 100 in, uh, sorry, remove the 100 from our PV max, we can see that it's no longer hidden. Even if I um, collapse everything, PV max is not hidden. We can put new values on there. 75, for example, and it remains unhidden. But the second I put 100.0 back on there, it's then hidden again because it's back to its standard predefined value. So let's just run through that again with a PV min. So go into the block, PV min, properties, and we're looking for hide because we always want it hidden. Um, and then we're looking for a predefined actual parameter. Um, I'm going to set this one to 10. And I also want to check show if parameter assigned on block call is not identical to the predefined actual parameter. So this is overriding the hide if it's not set to 10. And if I minimize this now and go back to my main, Remember to update the block call because we've actually made changes to the interface and my min is sat here. I can type 10 in, press enter, 
and nothing happens because I need to close the, the objects that were open before I made that change. So close this and reopen main. And once main has been reopened, what we'll find is PV min and PV max are both missing on this object, but PV min is still available here because it's not set to 10. And if I set it to 10.0, we find PV min disappears as well. So one other thing that's worth mentioning about uh, the predefined actual parameter is that you can actually assign pre-existing tags to it as well. So if I choose PV max again, come to properties and come down to predefined actual parameter, we can see now that it has a tag S2.4, which is actually an input tag from, uh, from my IO layer. If I were to delete that, we get the classic tier portal um, drop down, which shows us all of the available tags and uh, DBs um, or data blocks uh, that we have available in our project. And we can click this, come into it. For example, we can set the PV max to be PID manager DB dot PV max. And just before we end the video, we can do the same thing to outputs. Uh, the same thing to in outs, they're the things that appear on the interface. You can predefine anything uh, on those interface options, and it's just a very, very easy way of keeping things neat and tidy.